Why is it important for research students to think critically? Or what is the importance of critical thinking for research students? This is the question around which this presentation revolves. So first, what is the connection between critical thinking and research? Critical thinking, as we know, generally refers to the ability, the aptitude and skill to think out of the box, to think independently, innovatively, creatively, to consider various aspects of issues, situations, and or problems, and to analyze multiple perspectives. Generally, critical thinking revolves around questions such as the what, the why, the how, and the so what of, of phenomena, of natural or social phenomena. Research um, actually is the systematic, scientific, objective, and objective process of exploring, exploring and analyzing situations, issues, and problems for better understanding and for making informed decisions. So, uh, from the, these uh, brief explanations of these two terms, critical thinking and research, we can see that there is a good deal of interrelationship between the processes of critical thinking and research. So the, we, can, we could easily say that research and critical thinking are basically interdependent or complementary. In other words, uh, we need to think critically in order to conduct a useful process of research. And similarly, in order to substantiate our critical thinking or the, the, the questions that come as a result of critical thinking or the hypotheses that we make as a result of critical thinking need to be explored and substantiated through the process of research. So here we can see that critical thinking and research are interdependent, they are complementary, and generally these go together. So um, it is important for research students to develop the capacity of and the ability for critical thinking in, in order to be good researchers. Now, why the, the, to further elaborate the importance of critical thinking for research students, let us see, let us elaborate on the relationship between research and critical thinking. So as we know that research revolves around the questions of what, why, how, and so what, which actually means what are we exploring in our research process or what is our research about? Why are we conducting this research? And how are we going to conduct the research or what is the process of research? And so what? Which actually means what we, what we shall get at the end of the research process. All of these what, why, how, and so what are also linked to our capacity as researchers to think critically. So, um, as critical thinkers, as researchers who are able to think critically, the what will actually revolve around the research topic. So what research topic are we exploring? What is the background of that research topic? So we need to be clear about that as well. And what other studies have been conducted on that particular topic? What is the historical background of that particular topic that we are 
conducting our current or that, that we are planning to conduct our research on. Secondly, we do not conduct research just for generally for the sake of it. There is, a, there is always a why and so here comes the role of the critical thinker um, as a researcher, the researcher as a critical thinker on the why of the particular topic that, that they are exploring. So why is it that it is important for us to conduct the particular study um, in the situations in which we are actually conducting it? Why is it important to conduct this study? In what ways will it help us develop our insights further into the issues that we are conducting our research in? Um, how will it add to the existing knowledge? So the rationale of the particular study or the significance of the research that we want to conduct, the why question will revolve around that as well. So a student researcher, you need to think about the why of the topic that you are conducting your research on. Why, why is it important for you as a researcher to conduct that particular study or research? In what ways will it help you and the rest of the research community or the general public um, in, in terms of, of adding to their understanding or insight or in terms of the practical implications of the research. So the why question is a very important question that, that actually helps you in justifying the conduct of your research, the process of your research, the funding of your research, and so on. Then comes the how. Now, now next you need to, as a researcher, you need to ask, how are you going to conduct this research? And again, this is a critical question. In many cases, researchers, especially junior researchers and student researchers, they begin a research process, but because they're not very clear about the research process or the how of the research, that in many cases lead to failure, possible failures of the research project. So it is, um, is critical thinking will help you in understanding the how of the research process or the methodology of the research process. So how, what design are you going to, to adopt for your study? How will you implement that research design? How will you, for example, how will you uh, collect, how will you actually select your sample? How will you collect data related to your research questions? How will you analyze those uh, the data? And uh, in what ways or how will you actually validate uh, the process of your research? So these are the questions that again you can see that the how question is very important and it helps in the smooth and the effective implementation of the research process. So as critical thinker, um, you need to ask the how question uh, in the beginning and throughout the research process um, in order to develop your, your uh, to actually conduct your research effectively. And the last one is, is highly important, is that the researcher as critical thinker not only thinks about the what, why, and how of the research process, but also the so what, or in other words, the, the importance or significance or actually what will be the outcomes of, of their research. It is also important for effective researchers, for good researchers to think about the so what of their research process. What will they get towards the end of their research process? How will that be important in theoretical sense and in practical sense? What will be the practical value of the research product that they get? Now these again are questions 
that will come out of the critical thinking of the research. And again, we can see that the researcher as critical thinker also thinks about the possible outcomes of the process of their research. So to summarize, critical thinking is highly important for researchers, especially for student researchers, because critical thinking helps them in initiating questions, in, in substantiating the importance of those research questions or hypotheses, in finding out and in selecting the methodology um, or the practical imp implementation of the research design in order to find answers to the research questions. And also, in terms of substantiating the importance of or the practical value of, of the research process.